What you doing? I'm gonna drill some holes in the boat. This is what a boat needs, more holes. More holes. Today's the day, again. <laughs> we got a lot of days. It's wake up day. It's wake up day. We're moving from my mother's house to a hotel uh, for the next week. And then after that week, we're getting on the boat. So there's a lot of there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of exasperation. I think um, it's one of those long time coming things. And we just gotta we just gotta do it. So we got we got. I don't know, how much of our crap do we have? What would you give the percentage of crap? I would say on this particular trip we have 75% of our crap. It's not a big car either, it's a, it's a Hyundai uh, Tucson. We left some crap at my mother's house uh, for after we bring the boat down. Logistics reasons. Um, the boat comes with a lot of stuff on it and we have to go through all the lockers and determine what stuff we're keeping, what we're not keeping. The previous owner had the boat for 15 years, so anytime he fixed something and, and bought a package of switches or a package of gaskets or whatever, you know, it always went in a drawer for the next time that broke. Now, on the one hand, that's good. It appreciates there being spares and extras. On the other hand, that tends to take up a lot of room after 15 years. We need room for our stuff. There's literally something in every locker and drawer on the boat. Except for three small drawers. Everything on the boat is stuffed full of stuff. And we don't know what that stuff is. But what I do know is we can't fit all of our stuff into three small drawers. So we definitely need to clean out some of that stuff. Do we have exact change? Do we have a buck 50? Oh my god, hold on. One debt to society later. Tip for out-of-towners, if you're ever in New Jersey on the parkway and you have change for the exact change lane, fling it at the basket while going at least 15 to 20 miles an hour. And keep moving. It doesn't matter if you hit it or not. Do not stop. Do not open your door. Don't reach down to try to pick it up. Don't dig around in your ashtray when you pull up to the thing. Either have it ready or don't. And these people stopped parked their car in the exact change toll and she froggered her way about 12 lanes to go to the money booth where there was a person to get change and then froggered her way back and I was just like you're, you're taking your life in your own hands girl you don't even know it so today is Sunday and the previous owner is coming on Wednesday to help well, not to help, but really to be in charge of getting it ready to splash. It's 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 kind of in the contract that it's his his purvey. <laughs> his to... Yeah, uh, this is the first time we're going to be seeing the boat without the cover on it. It had a, a shrink wrap on it that it's gone, and so we're going to take a look at it and walk around the deck for the first time without being hunched over. <laughs> like I'm going to get up to the foredeck, which would be a first. We have to get a dinghy. Yeah. We have to get a dinghy. Uh, we got a hint, a lead, possibly, on a dinghy. There was a sign up in the yacht club saying, dinghy for sale, make an offer. So we're gonna check that out. Failing that, we'll probably go buy a new one. We need it, we need a tender. I'm not gonna swim to shore. That's, that's not gonna happen. This is the first time we're seeing the boat with the, with the cover off, so. Pretty exciting. Looks like we have a nice rickety ladder to get us up there. All right, we're going to hook up for shore power, and uh, puppy dove, puppy dove. That's uh, that's quite a mess. <laughs> Gonna be easier to get into when it's in the water, right? Yeah. There she is with the cockpit cushions on. And the sides, it's nice. Well, here we are on the boat. And um, that noise you hear is the fan for the refrigerator running. Hopefully it doesn't run like that all the time. I think just while maybe it's cooling. 
So we'll see. Let's go check out Genevieve. Hi Genevieve. Hi. Find anything good? Um, lots of stuff to make the head not smell. All right. <laughs> and some head lube. Head. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you need in your life, baby? A little more head lube? Um, I don't even know what that is. Prevents yeah. valves and flappers from sticking. Look at that. Most people just put cooking oil in their toilet. Oh, okay. Head lube. There you go. So this is my day one accomplishment. I got one head clean. <laughs> and that is, that is all I did today. Um, but I washed down everything. Everything. With a toothbrush. With a magic eraser. And I learned the harder it is to clean, the dirtier it is. So that right there, yeah, the head, the whole shenanigans there. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. But it's clean now, and it will be clean for us. And I think that's what's important. It's day one, Alan. What did you accomplish? I got the zincs on the prop shaft and the prop and I installed the spare skit for the line cutter on the prop. So that's ready to go. That's something you can't do in the water. MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me looking like crap in the mirror over there. There's no crystal um, in the fridge, so don't ask. No, there's some crystal light though. Crystal light. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered up parts for the engine. Should get those tomorrow. And I gotta put up the smoke detectors. That's next. Look, it's our first meal aboard the boat. It's a sandwich. I got another I got one here too. Play a little Pac-Man right over her head. <laughs> Crunch. I don't know if that counts as cooking on a boat, but it's at least putting cold cuts on a piece of bread with some mustard and cheese. Does cooking require fire? I don't know. Maybe that's why it's making a sandwich, not cooking a sandwich. Hmm. Whatever. It's food. It's our first meal. Yay! Yeah. Milestone. <laughs> Look at you doing stuff. Taking things off's the easy part. Yeah. Fixing the holes and putting new stuff on much harder. Hmm. One step at a time now. Ta-da! Ta -da. So what else is on your to-do list today? Uh today. I gotta put in the high water alarm. I wanna grease the zippers. Um don't know I have a list <laughs> general cleanup help with cleanup okay organize my tools um, after Genevieve finishes cleaning out some of these lockers we can start putting some stuff away that'll be good yeah which are are these lockers that's task one today is to wipe these down and clean them out there's a little bit of nastiness in there so that's gotta happen and then project two for me is the deep clean of the galley. I'm sure it will be tuckered out after that one. So that's day two's beginning agenda. We'll see what gets accomplished by the end of day two. What did I say I'd do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember something about some zippers, zippers high and water alarm, alarm, and take this thing off. Okay. Well, you can one check, thing done. You can check that box. Check. Okay. <laughs> What you doing? I'm gonna drill some holes in the boat. This is what a boat needs, more holes. More holes. Look, I got a bastardization of wires. Isn't that wonderful? It's wonderful, dear. You know what, you, you would think, I understand they always say that boat jobs take longer than you think, but this is taking longer than even mm -hmm. I could think of doubling. I'm like, jeez, come on. This is going to be the bilge alarm. It's got a nice little, nice little panel. I'm going to put it down here. And that sucker goes off. 
better get your butt to the manual bell just bumping fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as, you know, projects taking longer than they should, I, I cleaned out my cabinets and I did a custom shelf liner job, which, of course, took longer than it probably should have. And, oh, in the process, I have discovered that one of the former occupants has left evidence of herself all over these cushions, which would be the former owner's dog. Uh, so there will probably be some after hours laundromat action to get all these cushions. Hot laundromat action. So that's, that's on the agenda perhaps for this evening, which then leaves me with the dilemma of continue on to the galley or take these cushions out and clean where these cushions are because there's grunge everywhere. finished putting in the uh, high water alarm. There's the alarm panel itself under the settee. We can see down down here in the bilge there's the sender unit. How do we know it works? Well if we take the sender unit and we fill the bilge with water it'll go off. But an easier way would be to flip the sender unit upside down. And it's got a little float in here and so when there's water and it rises it raises this float up. And when the float gets to the top, it closes the contact. Kind of like this. You can see when it goes off, there's a red light. It comes on, it tells you it's the bilge. And a nice loud buzzer to wake you out of a dead sleep. Let's hope to never hear that sound again. <laughs> Give me another granny there, we'll get it on film. Uh, oh, I think I missed it. <laughs> First try. <laughs> Turn off the camera.